morning, Candace. How are you? Thank you. We're live on the air. Hi, everybody. Good morning to you. We are in the Genesee Valley Mall with uh, the Salvation Army uh, ringing bells for them. Of course, our kids do that each and every year. And we have a family with us here as well. Our International Academy is in barrage of people. We have kids. We have parents. We have neighborhood people. We ring from 10 in the morning every Saturday with inside the mall to 8 o'clock at night. That's our time. And International Academy of Flint has been doing this for a number of years. Uh, it's a great service opportunity for our youth. And it's a great opportunity for them to kind of understand the idea of uh, working on behalf of an organization for the betterment of Flint and Genesee County. So we welcome you and we wish you at this point a Merry Christmas. We had a little producer for Thanksgiving. We were, <laughs> I don't know how many people we said. We lost count around 500, so <laughs> it was wild and holy there. Thanks to the MCA, of course, who provided us with a pick up people from a variety of locations and church names that were You get to open the door now. St. Paul Baptist Church, no, very um, no, battle for first class transportation. He, he ran, no, ran a van himself and he offered one to us as well. So we had five vans out there to pick up folks. You're on TV. To dinner on time. Hi, TV audience. Good morning. Good evening to you. We're glad you're with us today. If you check the background, you'll know we're not at a school. We're at the Genesee Valley Mall. And we're celebrating uh, the beginning of the Christmas season by ringing bells for the Salvation Army. And we have our own families who so come in and do that, and we have our kids do it, and uh, our school kids, our parents, our staff members, our neighborhood people come in and share an hour and a half or so per session. Uh, we go every Saturday morning inside the mall from 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. And it's a blessing to our kids. And of course, the Salvation Army hopefully reach the benefit of being able to supply uh, 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 services, a variety of services, for Flint and Tennessee County residents. All the money that goes into this pot and all others provide services, direct services for Flint and Tennessee County. So there might be some families listening right now that at some point have benefited from those services. So this is a great opportunity to give both ways to them and give back and feel good about what you're doing. So we trust that you'll be with us today and I hope we're coming in pretty clear as far as uh, the one who we're in a mall, so I don't really know if we're able to transmit, but I think we're doing pretty well here. Paul Herring is with us as well. Paul's dressed in his Christmas outfit of brown and black. Okay. <laughs> Paul, it's always a pleasure to see you today, sir. Always a pleasure to see you, Dr. Winslow. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And we have a surprise visitor. We did not have a surprise visitor today. I thought we did, <laughs> but apparently we don't. <laughs> Gee, I must be wrong. Golly, that's never happened before. Okay. Well, um, feel only once in your life. Okay. <laughs> that was the mystery voice. Twenty nine ninety five to the caller who can identify the mystery voice. Well, anyway, let, let's call up a couple of folks here that I happen to know a little bit. Okay. Davina, how are you today, honey? Come on over and let's talk to you for yeah. a second, okay? Hey, Davina, I think I've known you since first. <laughs> how you doing, Pumpkinhead? Good to see you. I'm going to put you on radio and TV now, okay? Davina, what is your full name? Can, can you hang on to the phone, honey? Go ahead and hang on like you're talking to me. Merry Christmas. Okay, and Davina, you go to what school? International. <laughs> That's never a word you should forget. Okay, never, ever, 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 ever. Okay, Davina, you're in what grade, honey? Look at the candle, please. Second grade. Uh, oh, that's a precious grade. I remember when I was in second grade, right before the Civil War. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Quit laughing, all Don't pull back that far. <laughs> Davina, tell us uh, your favorite subjects in school. What might they be? Oh, wow, that's good. And what you might like to become when you get out of uh, school? Become an adult? Tell us, please. A teacher? Oh, Davina, that's wonderful. Or? Oh, I got an or from Grandma. Or a police officer. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, well, Davina, my goodness sake, what a pleasure to have you here with us today. What is in your right hand? What's in the bag? Candy. What are you doing with the candy? Tell the audience. To who? People, okay. All right. That's an enticement, I think. We'll have to be yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, 
Okay, we're going to take the phone from you, honey. Thank you for being with us. You are so precious to me. Oh, I love her. Like three inches taller. Yeah. Than the <laughs> world, the wonderful child we have here. Yeah. And she's doing pretty well in school. Grandma, come on over. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hi, Grandma. What are you doing? Hey there. Oh, I, I can't say real loud, can I? <laughs> <laughs> I like her. I <laughs> like her. Rosemary. Rosemary. I do Rosemary Bush. So your name yes. is Rose Bush. Yes, it is you Rose Bush. Do you believe that? Oh, well, why not? I have thorns. Yeah. I have thorns. <laughs> you're you're Rose Bush, and I'm a Teddy Tulip. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, Teddy Tulip. Grandma, why are you here? I am here with, for the Salvation Army. Thank I you. love the help. And, and it's watching the people up and down the mall coming in. I love telling them a Merry Christmas and enticing them with the candy with the little kids. Yeah. You give little kids candy, mom and daddy come over and cook something in. So, this is a marketing ploy. I yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of like switch and bait. There you, you go. Not know what <laughs> oh, this it's is it's bait and bait. What are you talking about? Bait and oh, switch. Oh, bait and oh, bait. Oh, 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 correct. I hate it. <laughs> Well, it's just your own. How long yes. have you had grandchildren at our school? Oh, gosh. Well, seven years now. Okay. Seven uh, years thank now. You. And yes. They're doing and consistently quite well. Yes, they are. Oh, and I love the school. You couldn't ask for a better school. Wow. No. And all of them know what they want to be. They're going into engineering. Wow. I did not know that. I know yes. they're in robotics. Yes. That I know. Yes. Yeah. Now, I'm going to... We're going to have to brag on somebody here in your family. Uh-oh, -uh, you talking about the Bushman. I know about, where you're going. Mm -hmm. why these children of yours are doing so well in school. Can you talk about that for a minute? Oh, you know, the grandpa loves having them do homework. Okay. They love to, I didn't mean to say that one, Dr. Winslow. <laughs> that one slipped out. Quite all right. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> but no. And they, they, they do homework every, every single night. And they're keeping up their grades because it's a college prep school. So they will be ready when they get here. When time comes, they will be ready. Even the little ones have uh, homework every yeah. night. They all do. And that's because of Papa Bush. He does so that. He does pretty good. Then. Oh, he does. We're, we're going to keep him? Maybe. A, uh, you think you're going to keep him? There was a pause there. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> we'll keep him. We think we're keeping him. <laughs> well, I don't know. You guys are, you know, you know you're like this here. Yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> Kurt, I'm going to call you over, okay? I well, thank you, sir. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. Just keep bringing, the, bringing in the cash. Yeah. Now, is he related to Bush? Yes, they're sisters. Well, I happen, I happen to be the neck. How's you're, that? You're the cuter sister. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he wants to be the head, but the head can't do anything without the neck. Okay. I, 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 I guess not. Kurt, where are you? I am here. Okay. I hear the voice. I don't see the face. Okay. <laughs> I showed up for the Easter money. I don't see it. It was the Easter money. Tell me what you were doing here yesterday. When I say here, I, not yesterday, but uh, we were... Um, uh, go ahead. Talk. We still had a bunch of food. It's on Saginaw Street right now. Right? As we speak, there are a bunch, loads and loads of uh, tomatoes and carrots, I know for sure. Perhaps potatoes. Probably onions as well. We had an overabundance. I mean, we, we had a massive turnout, as usual. A uh, massive box giveaway as the uh, box of food, right? Box of food, that is, uh, staples and clothes. Can you get that? Yeah. Yeah. Is that okay if we go to her? Do you want to say something about Salvation Army? We're good, don't it's okay. All right. Thank you, <laughs> little sweetie. Bye-bye. You guys play it okay. right. Yeah. Well, Kurt, you, what were you doing during this event? Well, I was uh, where the MTA didn't go. I was driving a uh, passenger van and picking up the uh, people on the outskirts, uh, or those not uh, close, or those you know not even capable. Even if they were close to an yeah. MTA, yeah, weren't capable of getting to the bus. Right. So we picked them up, dropped them off. Okay. It, it was uh, you know you don't need me to say this. It was a, it was a fantastic operation as usual. Uh, I I don't know the numbers that they are in, but. Uh, the year before, it was probably we fed 600 people. I wouldn't doubt it was in that area, and, and families All left with the box. So I mean, it's just Merry Christmas, Happy it, New Year. Everything went as well, went as planned. Merry it, Christmas. It, it was I was there. Opera. I was there. <laughs> and, and Paul was there too, yeah. and he was passing out uh, Juneteenth flyers as well. <laughs> You know how you got to get prepared now. Right, right, right. <laughs> and, and Kurt, I know you're my offspring, but I want to thank you for what you did yesterday. Uh, the last Thanksgiving, yeah. you know, you've always been there driving the van, picking up folks. 
And then yesterday, cleanup day, you spent hours and hours there with us. And a a listening audience, please be aware, we're on 2820 South Saginaw. I say that for two reasons. One, of course, we'd like you to drive by the school and enroll your child and such. But for today, for the immediacy, we have food outside of the school. We have a sign out there that says free food today. Pallets of tomatoes. When we left, we had carrots and we had onions and we had uh, potatoes. And uh, we were all on pallets outside. I don't know. You know, the people just drive by, they pull over and Individual stop. Individual bags, make it easy, yeah. you don't need to take a ton. Yeah, we have 50 pound bags of carrots and onions, but uh, if you open them up, I mean, the big bags, there's smaller little sub bags inside with a dozen or so or whatever, five pounds or whatever it might be of those smaller items. So please do drive by. There's tomatoes by the top. We have a whole pallet full of yellow tomatoes. And we have some with uh, the red tomato as well, the more familiar tomato. So, uh, it's, it's free for the asking. Does that mean I can have some too? Oh, you can have some too if uh, there's any left by the if time we left? get there. Yeah. All right. And I'm hoping down. that a lot of folks drive by and take advantage of that. So that's a great opportunity. For Gotta go. Them. Please do drive by. Please do drive by. Board member, are you want to say anything? Or? Here he comes. Here he comes. Folks, this guy's on every program no matter where we are. And what do you want me to say? <laughs> I've never known you to be a shy of words. So. How about, uh, well, Thanksgiving dinner. You were the MC. Here you go. I'm out of here. See you later. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. So, for Thanksgiving dinner. Let me think. Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, we had a great Thanksgiving yeah, dinner with yeah, my wife right and my father-in-law and friends across the street. We had church. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the last oh, I, I tell you, folks, if you weren't there, you missed a great time. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Hey, our, our, how many people did we serve Thursday? Do you know? Uh, we were in excess of 600 again. All right, yes, again, over yeah. 600 people. I figured about 640 to 650 myself. Uh, everybody was grateful. The, the amount of food that they were able to eat, but then with the food box that uh, they got... Uh, because of a generous donor who picked up and got uh, food from the food bank for us. And like Kurt said, the tomatoes, the onions, the potatoes, uh, the carrots, uh, it's just, it was just unreal. And if they left hungry or if they left without food to, because, you know, if they had a food ticket to get a box and they went home and they didn't have anything to eat, it's because they didn't know what they were doing with the folks there, with the food there. I hate to say that, folks. But we tried to ha have enough food for everybody, but unfortunately we only had 207 boxes of food, uh, which would serve 207 families. And when you have over 600 people, you know someone's going to go without, unfortunately. But there was still an overabundance of food made on the table. They ordered a full right. semi. Make sure folks uh, it was a full yeah. semi. It was over 19,000 pounds of food that was delivered on Wednesday afternoon that uh, some community volunteers, plus I believe our basketball teams and the, both girls and boys helped uh, to sort and get ready for Thursday. It was a great time and the volunteers, you just can't say enough about the fact that people gave up their own time, time from their families to come out and help the school get back to the community. Like I said at the end of the event on, on Thursday, I'm pulling his shirt sleeve over here, him here on the camera, that if it wasn't for Art, who started this oh, about 10 years ago, we wouldn't be doing it. And he's the life and soul behind this event. Thank and you. Merry without Christmas him, Christmas. thank you very much. He provides, it was just without God. So Art, okay. thank wow. you very much for everything you do. I know you don't like that. I know you're a very humble and shy person. Yeah, but a little shy. It's just one of those <laughs> things that, you know, if it wasn't for you and what you do, that event would not happen. And the volunteers are there because of what you do and the fact that you are always smiling no matter how bad the thing <laughs> Now, back to Art. <laughs> <laughs> Board member, thank you. You're and now for the truth. <laughs> yeah. You're ter terribly kind, and, and that's that's great. But you know, a lot of folks benefit, and that's just the good thing. But again, members that are listening, or folks that are listening, without a cooperative board, we couldn't do those things. So you know, it's, it's a hand in glove kind of thing. We have lots of ideas to help. The board says, go ahead and do it, just do stuff. And that's a wonderful relationship. And we do have to remind everybody that this is done strictly through donations and contributions, and we do not spend any funds from the school to do this. I can verify that. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> well, anyway, that's great. And uh, I hope we could get a few folks that have dropped by here in the, the mall, the Missy Valley Mall, right where the penny store meets the hallway for the mall inside. Some of the donors that will come by, but we might be able to chat with them. 
But let's talk quickly about... Uh, oh, folks, you got to watch this Friday morning coming up. 5 o'clock in the morning to 7 o'clock. We have Spirit Day. Food Bank, Eastern Mission will be at the school along with Channel 12. Thank you for that unsolicited advertisement because we work with the Food Bank on this. We work with Channel 12 every year. We and hundreds of, well, not hundreds, but dozens of other schools do the same thing. But this Friday will be our day. So if you are a parent listening to us from our school, uh, make sure your child is there. At 5 o'clock would be great so they can scream, holler, shout, and go crazy uh, on a Friday morning. We'd love to have you do that. The kids now are collecting. Uh, uh, canned goods and other kind of foods and even donating money to uh, assist the food bank in that process. And each school, of course, is a big contest countywide. And the, most, uh, the schools with the most dollars receive, or the most poundage, receive a significant award from the food bank. And of course, the, it's not so much the contest, it is the ultimate goal of providing food for their Flint area families in Genesee County as well. So all that stuff stays right here as well. We have a great partnership with them. So that's a great thing, and our kids are, uh, five, I know five's an early morning, and it becomes a long day, but the kids come in, and uh, they certainly have their voices behind them when they do thanks to Channel 12, specifically Mark Jacobson, who is totally insane, and a great guy. We're going to have a little fun with that. We're going to have a Christmas theme that day, and I'll... Be careful, Art. we got lions and buffalo and bears and cats roaming around out here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, eek. Ah. Okay. Yeah, this, this is a great little uh, thing out here in the mall, folks. they got battery-powered animals that ride around the mall. I don't know what you pay to get the child down there or anybody under 300 pounds. I've already asked. So, uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma hey, Dave, come on over, buddy. But this is a nice little event they have here. For, no, it's not an event. They're here all the time. You pay so much to rent it, and you can drive around where they go in the mall. It's kind of a neat idea. David, come on in. Big buddy, how you doing? This is David. You tell him your own name. You must know it by now, don't you? Hang on to that phone. This is your program. Hello, my name is David here. What grade? I'm eighth grade. And where were you on Thanksgiving Day, David here? I thought you were at our school, serving hundreds of people. <laughs> Duh. Here's another one for you, Doctor. He wore shorts yesterday to help out. Maybe you can help that. Remember the cleanup also? Daniel, come on over. Get your face on TV. Don't want to do that. David, thanks for talking so long. I didn't even hear He barely spoke at all, man. What? Yeah, barely did. Anyway, uh, oh, oh, I should stand in front of the camera, I suppose. Okay, folks, International Academy of Flint, if you'd like to tour our school even during this holiday season, 605,000. 605,000, we welcome your uh, call. I'd love to give you a personal tour, meet our teachers. Kids, oh, I'd love to stop our kids in the hall, go in the classroom and pull a couple of kids out and say, hey, talk to this parent about anything they want to know, because who knows best what we do, but there are little kids, so this is wonderful. All right, so anyway, um, if you have an interest in our building, uh, it doesn't matter. We can give you a tour over the weekend, in the evening, as well as uh, during the school day. When it's probably most fruitful because that's where teachers and staff are there. Have a little fun with it. And uh, hopefully you'll give us some consideration. I'll give you that phone number one more time, 605,000. 605,000. So thank you for that consideration. And uh, we'll talk again while we're in the Tennessee Valley Mall. If you tuned in late, we are working with uh, supporting the Salvation Army and their efforts to screen. Our kids come out and volunteers. We've got uh, Sister Rose Bush is in my right hand. Uh, that's why we'll come on back. I'll come and show you. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Come on down. Come on down and do a lot of shopping. This is Christmas shopping. And we're thanking God for the sharing and caring also. For the needy, the needy, you know, they need a little bit. They can't be left out. Who else is going to help them out outside the Salvation Army? Yeah, so come on down and do your shopping in the mall. You know, the mall is expensive, but we're not expensive at all. <laughs> and it's a, it's a, it's a pleasure to speak with you. That was one of our grandparents. We got to go. We're getting shut down. All right, we're, we're getting uh, cut off of uh, the camera here, so. Wait a minute, board members had a conversation. Our, just had a conversation with the security people at the mall, and due to the fact that we have not had this pre-approved, 
air being required by them to shut off the camera as well as to shut down the live radio broadcast. So I hope they're contacting the uh, radio stations listening here. We've been told that we have to shut this down because it's not approved. Even and the radio have even the Walk outside with your phone. Going on. So Keep talking. I'm going to hand you back the phone for a quick two second wrap up and then we have to get out of here. We'll go outside. Yeah, or they're going to throw us out. Okay. We'll probably walk outside. Paul had a good idea. So we're going to walk and talk and everything. <laughs> Uh, Sister Rose, Kurt, tell her what happened. Okay. So we're being shut down in the mall because we uh, didn't seek approval. Uh, we schools garden education thanks to food core michigan a partner in flint's community education initiative students families and neighbors have an opportunity to discover the joys of growing their own fruits and vegetables learn more at flintcommunityed.org success in school partners in the community education initiative are offering sports such as basketball soccer and football in the Flint community schools give your student a healthy active boost in their education learn more at flintcommunityed.org Telephone conversation, and, man. Uh, we can uh, take care now of you guys have to turn, leave turn, the turn the camera, the camera off, please. You guys all have to leave property off for India. All right. You guys have been advised. <laughs> so now we're being asked to leave the property. So we're going to walk off of the got something coming up here, Kwanzaa, don't you? I'm going to give you the mic as we walk, sir. Actually, you know, Kevin Collins is here, taking here. over the Thank Kwanzaa you. celebration this year. I didn't know year. that, sir. I didn't yeah, know and that. I, you know, I don't know if it's I'll going to be at, um, 
Thank you, sir. You're going to leave before I get arrested, huh? Exactly where he's having it. I can't but believe. But I bet you'll be able to check out Channel 17 or, or my website, SpectacleProductions.com, as soon as he gets me that information. Okay. I'll pass it on. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And then uh, well, maybe I'm, maybe Kevin would want to come into one of our programs before uh, the event. Oh, I'm talk certain. About that. Yeah, I'm certain that Kevin would like to talk about uh, uh, the Quantum Celebration, all the things he's doing. You know, he does the Kungana. Uh, program. He does a really great jazz set over at the uh, the Golden Leaf on Wednesday nights. Okay. And I encourage anybody that's into to jam sessions. You know these guys just rock that place out every Wednesday at like nine o'clock at night. Okay. Do a great job. We're also getting excited about starting the uh, WFOV 92.1 Flint's new Our Voices Radio here in the city of Flint. Looking for programming. Looking for sponsors. Looking for volunteers. It's going to be a great opportunity to uh, to share the good news here, okay. here in Flint. So I guess that's all I got. Art, what okay. else you want from me? Uh, how much time have we got? My, my car is the other way. Why? Oh, I didn't know that. I, are we going to my to... car or are we going <laughs> to your car? Right We've been kicked out, you know, and I really would like to see him call the police because I, uh, I like to see you in cuffs, Art. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> it would be a great picture. <laughs> Art and the uh, the board member uh, handcuffed together, being escorted <laughs> <Yeah>. off. <laughs> that, that's yeah. unity right there. That's <laughs> unity. Okay. Yeah, I bet you we stand in this tree line over here. We're off their property. No, not off the, not off the property. Until you get the oh, wait a minute, right here. This firm right here. Yes, it goes to the. Uh, you have to go down there with your parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess right. that's it. Um, I can give out a phone number: two three nine two nine zero one. If anybody wants to get some information on the Kwanzaa celebration. W-F-O-V. What if we... Why can't we? Flint, Michigan. Why not? Our voices. Our voices. W-F-O-V. What would happen if we... W-F-O-V. How many times have I said... I've got the solution. Not everybody's bad. Why can't we work together? W-F-O-V. Our voices. Our voices. W-F-O-V. You know what the problem is? I heard a guy on the radio. There's other communities. Our voices. I like to hear it. W-F-O-V. I heard... W-F-O-V. What? WFOV. Our voices. 259 978 Flint's newest radio Our station. Voices. Located right here in Flint, Michigan. The Our Good voices. News Radio. If you're interested in getting involved, having your Our own voices. show, or just supporting the station, give us a call at 259 9789. That's 259 9789. It's station. Our Voices. Located right here in Flint, Michigan. The Good News Radio. If you're interested in getting involved, having your own show, or just supporting the station, Give us a call at 259-9789.